Hey guys, another cool God of War Easter egg has been discovered. Obviously, if you don't want spoilers, now's your time to leave. Apparently, there's an Avengers Infinity War reference. And the cool reference here is a Shattered Gauntlet, which is essentially the Infinity Gauntlet. In order to get the Shattered Gauntlet of the Ages, you're going to have to do Fafnir's Horde quest. And once you finish that, you're going to be given another quest by Sindri, which is called Family Business. As you make your way through the quest Family Business, you're going to arrive at a boat. Here on the boat, you're going to see the son who betrayed his father has also been murdered. After picking up the whetstone, an angry traveler will bust onto the boat. Once you've defeated this traveler, you're going to receive the Shattered Gauntlet of Ages. The interesting thing about the Shattered Gauntlet of Ages is that it's an ancient relic of hell deemed too powerful to remain whole. Fragments of its former strength lie scattered throughout the realms. Here's our hint that it needs other things to power it up. In looking in the menus, it's an interesting talisman because it has sockets for other enchantments. As you upgrade the talisman, it increases the amount of sockets you can have. Once you've maxed it out, you're going to get three sockets. The talisman itself is not that great at first glance, especially with just random enchantments. However, like the Infinity Gauntlet, you can power it up if you have the right enchantments. There are six enchantments that are similar to the Infinity Stones. You could say Anvari's Soul is the Soul Stone. In order to get the Anvari Soul enchantment, you're going to have to finish Brock's side quests to find his friend Anvari the Alchemist. Once you complete the missions, you'll get your shiny new Anvari Soul. The Yord's Temporal Stone is the Time Stone, essentially. And you get this one by defeating the Queen of the Valkyries. The next enchantment is the Eye of the Outer Realm, which is similar to the Space Stone. This one's a little harder to get if you missed it the first time because it's tied into story. I believe after you've crash landed in Helheim, there's a door that's behind you that you could easily miss if you were just trying to progress through the story. You'll have to open the door to get the Eye of the Outer Realm. And this enchantment's really good because it gives you seven to all of your stats. The next stone is Evaldi's Corrupted Mine, which you could say is the Mind Stone. In order to get the enchantment Evaldi's Corrupted Mine, you're gonna have to beat Ulrun, the Valkyrie in Alpine. The next enchantment is the Asgard's Shard of Existence, which you could say is the Reality Stone. In order to get this, you'll have to defeat the Valkyrie Rota. And last but not least, there's Muspelheim's Eye of Power, which you could say is the Power Stone. This one you'll get by buying from Brock or Sindri from the blacksmith shop once you have enough resources. As long as you put one of these enchantments into the talisman, you're going to get a pretty cool power effect. However, if you put three of these stones together, and it doesn't matter which three, you're going to get a cool laser missile type effect where it'll shoot a projectile and do quite a bit of damage. Remember to stay tuned to GameSpot for more God of War coverage, and we'll see you next time.